That's good. So today we we're just going to be talking about um, admissions for the spring semester of 2022. Uh, real quick, uh, do you have anything to say right off the bat about the spring semester coming up? You know, one of the common questions I get asked, Philip, is I guess asked, do students come and transfer during the middle of the year? And the answer to that is absolutely. They do that on a regular basis when somebody completes at another institution or even just decides it's the right time in life. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. What do you think puts Mayville above every other institution in the area? Oh, there's so many things, to be honest with you, Caden. Um, I, you know, I know both of you from campus. You're both great young leaders on our campus. Uh, we also know another four, five, six hundred students right here. I think that's one of the things, and I'm not, I'm not unique. Faculty and staff really get to know students on a personal basis. If you look, look at success rates of our students compared to national success rates, I suspect we do very well because of what our students go on to do and, and uh, achieve in their lives. I think it's really important. Our size being small helps. I think it definitely does, especially up in this area. Small towns, graduating classes, no bigger than 30 usually. How large was your class? My class was about 24, I think, I graduated with. So I remember I'm, you saying. It, and and Philip, Mine was around 115 for my yeah. graduating class. So um, I think it's kind of perfect in the middle there with uh, how Mayville is. You get to know the students a lot better. Um, the, the teachers, it's awesome. Just It's great to build those relationships with the instructors. Um, it's just I think it's a wonderful campus, and I don't see why not to come over here. So. And I think definitely the community of Mayville helps a lot with this university also, where you go out in town to La Quintina or Pizza Shop, you can sit there and talk to the random stranger for an hour and a half about how college is going, how life is, and everything else on the look. Yeah. You know, I'd like, can I ask you two a question? Go and that it. is, I'd, I'd like to hear, what, what are your thoughts? I hear students sometimes say, oh, it's really too small for me. But then when the students get here and they're actually a student at our institution, they find out the university is really a city within a city, mm -hmm. meaning even local students sometimes don't interact that much with people they did maybe five years ago or something like that because they become very engaged in their own studies and, and interest. What were your experiences? Go ahead, Phil. Okay, so with me, um, I think too small of a campus is kind of a really hard uh, kind of complaint because I don't think that is really an issue. I don't think, it depends what you do with, uh, with your time on campus. Having a small campus, you can make opportunities. It's way easier to build a club. You know, Kate and I just got media club up and running and it's just what you do with your time and if, uh, if, you, take the, if you make the effort to uh, help campus or just be involved, I don't think that there's any issue. I think first thing first is a good person could do a lot of things here. A lot of the faculty, like you said, is here to help the students. Doesn't matter if they're a professor who's been here for 40 years or a professor who's been here for one year. They are here to help you and that is definitely one thing I think that Mayville has that a lot of universities don't. Where if you feel like you're falling behind, you can email Katie Richards, who's the head of student success, or email a professor straight up and ask them the question. They'll set up a meeting with you and get stuff straight, straightened out. I came from a town that was no more than 1,500 people. I'm used to small town setting. It doesn't bother me. I like hockey, I like football, so I just sit and watch sports all day usually. And Mayville has hockey, football, basketball. It has what I like, and if you're really in a crash to do something, Fargo and Grand Forks about 30 minutes away. Not a terrible drive. Thank you. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. So just to just to review, the application fee of $35 is waived until December 31st. Correct. And uh, you can apply until the first day of spring semester, which is on January 11th, correct? I believe that's accurate. All right, awesome. So um, do you know where they have to go to find the application? Well, you can go to our website and find our application by simply going to www.maybillestate.edu and then you can click to find our application. Or you can, if you happen to be in Troll County, you can most certainly stop by our campus at Old Main First Floor, and we can help you in both locations. Right on. Thank you very much.